Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in a really exciting place. We are at the Hong Kong International Airport and this is the brand new Skybridge. So the planes supposedly, I don't know if they are, are gonna pass by underneath me. And I'm just really stoked to see what that will look like because like, oh my goodness, isn't that really cool to be able to just see that? Um, yeah, so that's the hope. And we are here today because I'm going on a really, really exciting trip. Um, I'm probably gonna experience my first winter since I was like three years old. So my first adult winter and I'm so, so, so hyped. Um, to take you on this journey with me but first there's going to be a lot of sketching on the way i'm sure you've predicted this before um, especially with like the most recent airport video which i will link up here the tools of the trade per usual is this art tool kit watercolor palette which i have since sprayed and marinated with water so we're just waiting for that to soak in and the next sketchbook that i'm gonna put out is this etcher a5 um, landscape sketchbooks which i'm gonna open now um in hindsight i should have opened this let's see if we can get that asmr because the mic is right here okay i hope you hear that rustling but this is an etcher 100 cotton watercolor paper um in hot press so we are going to start with this page today and Let's get sketching. So really until the plane arrives, I actually don't know what I'm going to sketch just yet. So maybe I'll just do the broad, broad background, which is honestly not a bad thing to do. Now that I've decided to use a travel brush instead of a water brush, it's actually kind of pushing me to do broader and bigger scenes just because I can create big washes. And so it just forces me to go a little bit bigger in my sketches. And I don't hate that. I think it's a good push to have. Let's get sketching. I've got watercolor palette, got a little cup that I filled in with water just when I came in um, past check-in. It's my lens cap, ignore that. It's phone mount, also to film stuff. And this is my sharpened pencil and my handy dandy travel brush. Let's go. So starting off with the sketch, I realized that there is like a lot of like these shapes behind me. So I wanted to simplify everything and focus on the big, big, big shapes and just trying to merge the shapes together. So for example, these uh, plain roads over here, I wanted to make sure that these are all one color and then these side roads and the ones over there, they're also another color. So I wanted to blend all of that shapes first before I sort of blocked everything in. And that's kind of how I started this sketch is that's what I did. Also, of course, the sky, which this is a little washed out because I'm in front of the camera and that's why that's a little bit washed out. But if you can see from the footage, it is kind of like a bright gray and therefore that's just what I use. So it's a lot of muted colors that come into play in this sort of cloudy, gloomy day here in Hong Kong. But um, it'll make for an interesting sketch if we're ever back here on a bright and sunny day. But for now, this is what we get. And these are actually like really good photo ops, which I've actually tried to take a couple of photos, kind of flash them right here. And I just thought that they really got like the moodiness of Hong Kong at the moment. So it was actually really fun, like while I was sketching, I would sometimes see just planes um, going down this highway. It's usually to park, so if you see these yellow lines, these are like where they go and park. Uh, but I would just like hurriedly go over with my phone camera and just try to snap a couple of shots. And I think I got some bangers right here, so I'm actually really, really happy with being able to sketch in this spot. And I did kind of find this cute little area to um, sketch, like thankfully there's a table. So it's actually really perfect, like that's just what I sketched on. So I kind of tried to do everything first and I left the focal point last. But the reason for this is because I wanted to capture kind of the surrounding first and make sure that I got the contrast right. Like I wanted to make sure this color is darker than this color, for example. So uh, that's why I did it. And I also wanted to make it really dark so that the plane that's mostly white in color would pop. And I kind of 
took a picture right before um, the plane moved. And the reason for that is because I knew the plane was going to move in like a couple of seconds. So I did use that as reference. Uh, but I'm also glad that I'm here to paint the real thing because the photo doesn't capture everything, especially when this is like a lot wider than I thought. So I did look up a lot to ensure that I got like, for example, the curves of these. I think these curves are kind of like the signature of Hong Kong airport. I don't know why they're shaped like curves, but um, I think each of it is supposed to be like each little mini gate. And so therefore I was able to look at the curves and kind of draw them proportionally. But overall, I am actually really, really happy with the fact that I drew it here. Um, it also helps that my plane was like delayed by half an hour. So that gave me like time to sketch because otherwise I would have been sitting in the gate area waiting for my plane um, to depart or sorry for the boarding gates to open. And I thought it wouldn't be like safe enough that I'm here away. But now I'm actually finishing up sketching with about like, I board in like 50 minutes. Oh no, I board in like 20 minutes, I'm guessing. Like the plane departs in like 15 minutes. So it gives me a little bit of time as well to pack up, kind of enjoy the view, you know, go to the restroom, fill up my water bottle. I am excited to leave, but I'm also not excited for the long journey ahead of me. It's going to be like a two hour, the first leg is like two hours and the second leg is 14 hours. and. Um, because I actually had a last minute flight change. Um, I was with United before and this morning I woke up to like a text from United which they messaged at like 8 a.m. in the morning that my flight was canceled and I was supposed to leave tonight. So it was a really hectic morning actually and I kind of scrambled. I was talking to my friend who was going to pick me up like what do I do? Um, and then thankfully I got online with like a United agent. Um, this is not an ad for them because I literally had to scramble to get all my flights changed. And thankfully United put me on the next, um, on the last flight that's leaving out today actually. But I was supposed to leave at 10.30 p.m. today. And now I'm suddenly here at like 3 p.m. because my original flight was supposed to be at 3.25, but now my flight is at 3.55 p.m. So I did have to scramble a little bit to make sure I got everything in order because it's not like I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day, right? I also have a job where I need to figure out and like squeeze all my work in in like the first four hours of the day. Oh, but it was so hectic, but we are here now. And that's what matters <laughs> because we are here um, to do this wonderful, wonderful sketch of a plane. And I am just so glad that we actually made it here. Uh, no, we're not here to do a sketch of a plane. We're here to catch a flight, but <laughs> I got here early enough and the plane is delayed, so we're able to do a sketch of the plane. Um, it was also really interesting as well to see the airport kind of come alive again. I think the last time I got on a flight, Hong Kong still had quarantine rules, uh, which I luckily escaped. Like they scrapped the quarantine rules just before I came back to Hong Kong. But when I last came here, all the shops in the airport was closed. So I'm so glad that when I came here this time around, the shops opened up again. And it just seems like a part of me is like, Oh, a part of Hong Kong is coming alive again. And it's just like the little, little things, you know, just like looking up at my gates on like that board and like also huddled up with everyone else who's looking at, who's checking their gates. It just feels like there's just lifeblood in it. I don't know. I, I think I just really love living in a city and the fact that there's always so many people and there's so many things to do. Um, so I'm just thoroughly enjoying every part of this experience. All right, that's gonna be it. I've got a flight to catch. Thank you guys again for joining me in this one. And do you have a trip coming up? Because it's exciting to hear about people's trips as well. <laughs> all right, thanks again for dropping by. I really do appreciate that all of you would, you know, spend like a few minutes of your day. Sometimes it's 10, sometimes it's 30 minutes of your day on my YouTube channel. It like really means a lot, even though I know like I just do this as a hobby, but it really means so much. That's something I love uh, sharing about my city as well could be shared by a lot of people. All right, I think I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.